In this lesson we will learn to implement differential protection for a transformer and here we will be implementing the differential protection on this transformer over here which is a 12.5 MVA transformer and the example is same as before but I have changed the voltage levels over here so here the transformer is a 110 bar 11 kV transformer with the full load amps at the primary being about 65.6 .6 and at the secondary is 656.1 amps and the philosophy of the differential protection is same for the transformer over here now when we look at the differential protection differential protection is considered as one of the most important protection for a transformer because when a fault occurs at the transformer you do not require any time lag or any time delay before the protection is to be operated so let us go about implementing the differential protection over here i already have an overcurrent relay set over here so there is a CT as well so for the secondary side I will require a CT and we need circuit breakers for both on the primary as well as the secondary side so I will go to the high voltage circuit breaker and I will put in these two circuit breakers over here so this will be okay for the 110 kV side and for the 11 kV side I will pick this over here so this is a 15 kV max so that will be ok for that and next we will go and fetch our differential relay which is over here and I will connect these CTs and for the other primary CT, I can connect it this from the power current relay itself. So you don't need any other CT as well. So now all the connections are done. Then let me go to the differential relay for the differential tab. And again we will pick the Alstom differential relay which is CAG14 I am going to select this relay over here I am not going to change the operating time the output I will be operating two of the circuit breakers so which is the primary side as well as the secondary side of the transformer and for the input I am going to select these two CTs and now we will assign the CT ratios for this CT so the primary current is like 65 amps so I am going to select 100 is to 1 and for the secondary side this is about 656 amps so this I am going to select 1000 is to 1 So when you do the math what you see is that we have both these currents same so this is the secondary side will have about 0.656 amps and the secondary side of the CT over here will have 0.656 amps now one thing which I have overlooked is that we have not reversed the polarity So now we have done all our connections and it is time to verify our differential protection. So let me go to the star protection mode over here and I am going to fault at the transformer. So when there is a fault at the transformer, the differential relay will operate. So let me go to the sequence viewer over here and at the sequence viewer you can see that our relay 4 is our differential relay 
the CB10 and the CB11 is operating at 70 and 103 milliseconds and beyond that period we can see that the relay 2 is operating which is an overload relay so this is a thermal element of our overcurrent relay so C151 is the overcurrent relay so the overcurrent relay is only operating afterwards so this is how you implement differential protection for a transformer in ETAP